There's several things you want to check out on a trailer. One, of course, is the hitch. This hitch has to be in good working order and it has to be latched. The other aspect of safety is to attach these safety chains. There's also a safety feature. The trailer brakes away. This cable actually sets the electric trailer brakes. There's a small battery underneath the tongue of that trailer that has to be serviced as well. Nearly every cable you'll see will have been broken at some point in time, so you've got to plug it into the vehicle and then physically go around and check all the lights on the trailer because this is what delivers the power to the brakes on a trailer, turn signals, clearance lights, everything comes through this plug, so it has to be in good working order. One of the other standard safety features I think we have to have on every trailer as we head off down the road is a good spare, at least one. So if you get in trouble, it's always in good repair and ready to go on the ground. We always check tread depth and everything else, but when a tire is about five years of age, it starts deteriorating. The sidewalls go to cracking on it. There is a stamp on each tire that tells you when it was manufactured. Just because they have tread does not mean a trailer tire is in good, suitable working condition. Several things to look for as you look at the tires and axles. This particular trailer has torsion axles under it opposed to springs that help self-level it. This trailer has to be pulled when it's setting level behind the truck for both axles to have even pressure on the ground. If it's too high in the front, the back axle will have too much weight on it and that will overload that back axle and cause some safety issues if it happens to blow out. You want to also look at the lug nuts on these trailers. If the lug nuts are loose, you'll start to see a little bit of scuffing around the base of that lug nut. If there's any doubt, take a, an actual torque wrench and tighten those lug nuts to the specifications for that uh, trailer. At least once a year, you need to have the hubs pulled off, the bearings greased, the brakes checked and, and readjusted. Look at the tire tread on these trailers. Make sure that that tire is the appropriate size for the trailer that it's on. The next thing to check is air pressure in the tire. Uh, so you need to physically take a pressure gauge, check each tire to make sure they're inflated within the appropriate range. Always check the lenses on your, your lights to make sure they're in good repair. We need to also think about this little license plate light. We need to make sure that it's in good repair as well. As we look at the back of this trailer, this has a double door feature to it as well with safety latches on each one of these doors. Don't put a lock on these. You may need to get in there very quickly and a lock uh, will be very difficult to get off, particularly if you're incapacitated in an accident. They probably should have a snap in them to help secure that. As you enter, you wanna make sure the flooring is in good repair. This trailer has a rubber mat flooring, which is very good for traction on the horse. They can collect moisture underneath there and cause the boards to rot out where you can't really tell it. Rubber mats need to be pulled up occasionally, cleaned out underneath and allow that wood to dry. We go in and inspect these petitions and make sure that they're gonna latch appropriately. These have safety pins as well to hold that latch in place. If you'll notice on the side over here, there's some slope where the axles are actually inset a little bit into the body of the trailer. You would not want to put your biggest and longest bodied horse in that section. And make sure when you bring a horse into this area that you're very aware of how much risk you're putting yourself in by being in this close proximity. Another area that we're really concerned about safety is that actual physical process of backing up and hooking onto that trailer very difficult to see this hitch when looking out of the back window of a pickup. As they come back and you get them started lining up correctly, you need to back out of the way well in advance of that vehicle getting to you. And then it's always best for this person to motion whoever's driving to head back. Motion that individual stand to the side where they can see you in the mirror. I need to actually jack the trailer up to get it in the right location. Before I do that, I like to see that she has the truck in park. The brakes are on before I'd walk in here and jack that trailer up. You always want to make sure you jack these jacks all the way up so they don't hang on the ground. Always fasten the latch. There's always a safety pin that needs to go through that latch to where it doesn't accidentally come open. Make sure you get your electrical plugs plugged in. Safety chains should be attached to the opposite side where they're mounted. In case the trailer does come loose and falls down, the chain should catch that trailer tongue to keep it from being dug into the ground. The final portion of any pre-trip check is to make sure the lights are working on a trailer. 
Once that's all done, all your clearance and marker lights, tail lights are working, you're good to go. As we get ready to load a horse, you want to have that side petition ready to swing around and latch because you want to spend as little time as you can in the trailer with the horse. If she steps in the trailer, lets the horse take a step. You don't ever want to rush that process. This is something you really want to be careful about. She's run her rope through a loop up inside the trailer. She's positioned herself where she can step out very quietly and very easily and have that horse in that petition. Once the horse is in the trailer, petition gate is shut, then you can come to the outside and tie the horse securely just like you would any other sturdy structure, making sure that once it's tied, you don't want to leave the tail of that rope on the outside of the trailer. It can get down around the axles of that trailer and actually jerk on the horse and be very, very dangerous. Once you get ready to unload a horse, you just go in the reverse order. Once you get to the back of the trailer, you need to be cautious about opening a petition. She needs to be ready. If that horse has any pressure against the gate, it's gonna spring back toward her. So as she releases it, she needs to be ready to brace against it and also to step away from it as she pulls it around so it doesn't hit her in the stomach. She's always keeping her hand on the horse to where it knows where she's at. And you really want to back a horse out of a trailer. If you turn around and lead them out of a trailer, they have a tendency to jump when they come off. Allow that horse time to think and look. If you teach one properly, they'll step out of that trailer very quietly, very calmly. It's your job just to make sure that's a slow, steady process.